Perfect Fire. Brilliant, isn't it, Dan? Well, the video today is going to be, well, me assembling a computer for under £240. Um, yep, I need a new computer, and, well, it's going to be my like calling mine. So, the following clips are going to be images rather than actual um, videos. The reason being is that I still haven't managed to get a tripod, and to be fair, I'd rather thought I had pictures rather than loads, loads of shaky video, me going all over the place, which no one really likes. Anyway, so without further ado, on to the pictures. This is the first item on the list. This is the computer case. This is a computer, once it's unboxed, it's the Sharkoon um, V something rather case as you see on the first one. It's pretty good actually, rather heavy. In the, in the box anyway. Now this is the front of the case, looks pretty good to me. And well, pretty interesting really, it's got two front uh, USB 3 point ports. This is the side of the case, which, um, well, this is the side of the case, it looks pretty boring, but yeah, it's got the sides for the fan there, so plenty of uh, space for extra fans and a lock. So this is the rear of the case, uh, nothing really more to explain here. Uh, obviously you've got an extra port, um, extra fan there, so you can add. So here's pictures of the inside of the case. Um, yeah, they're pretty good, pretty good space as you can see. Got, see the front LED fan uh, bits up there. And some of the wiring harness that's pre-included in the case. This is the motherboard, um, Ace Rock uh, one, it's pretty good. Uh, one of the higher end motherboards, um, as you see, it's got the A80X chipset and it's for built specifically for APUs. So this is the motherboard, um, it's got the nice brownish effect to it. Uh, four PCI 3 Express slots, um, pretty good bog standard, it looks pretty, as say, gold capacitor, it's got a random dehumidifier function, which is always weird to play around with. Uh, not much more to say about this one actually. This is the Kingston Hyper Fury X, which is our RAM. Very good, very fast, very cheap, but it still does the job. So here's the processor, the fan, heat sink, and the RAM installed into the motherboard, ready to go. Um, not as painful as I thought it was going to be. Um, as I say, it's my first time I've really put in uh, uh, CPU and fan assembly onto a motherboard before, but still. Um, Went it through relatively successfully and without a hitch. This is the hard drive I went with. It's uh, 120 gigabytes of data. Um, it's pretty good, pretty cheap, and basically went for this rather than a mechanical hard drive because it boots faster and don't really use enough data to warrant it actually um, me needing to get a mechanical one. Hey ladies and gentlemen, uh, so pretty much done to this. Um, we're pretty much done. Uh, it's one thing I have, obviously you're thinking, all right, mate, where's this? Where's the power supply? Um, well, yeah, that's a kind of um, kind of botch up later with the one I've already bought. Um, hasn't arrived yet, so and it's pretty easy. To, it's pretty easy to um, sort out anyway. Because all you need to do basically is then plug the power relevant power bits into the motherboard. Um, all good manuals I'll show you anyway. So say the one thing about this case is the metal is pretty thin. And I, okay, it's a thirty pound cheap, it's a thirty pound cheap um, case, but still I expected a, a little bit more than that. But you know, you can't really complain. Um, so total the price of this build, this was a two hundred forty pound build, but that's without the graphics card I'm going to put in, um, this has already got a graphics card in anyway, so uh, it's part of the APU, so you can obviously um, go on graphic applications just as is, um, you don't need to put anything else more in, so if you were going to do a really budget build, just get a cheap power supply, that would have been another 20 or 30 quid, um, so that would probably be up to about 270 £280, £280 in total. That's including everything you see here. Um, yes, it's got the hard drive. It's a solid state one. So, and 120 gig, I think it is. So it's not something that you need. Um, I need any more of because I don't really use 
store anything on it. Um, this is going to be my light queen machine, and the reason why it's going to be my light queen machine, if you see here, there's, there's actually three PCI Express slots, which is going to come very handy when I want to add some extra extra um, graphics cards. But for now, yeah, yeah. upgradeability is a good thing, and it's quite a high end. Um, well, I think it's quite a high end motherboard. So yeah, I bought this machine mainly for its upgradeability rather than um, its actual price point for Litecoin money because it's going to be my gaming PC as well. Um, and also another thing I'm going to replace is the stock cooler, which is this. And actually overclock the CPU. But that's okay just for as a temporary measure. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy the video and I'm going to... Um, have some more videos of me setting this up, this beast up. I need to do a bit more reading on the motherboard um, the manual. And hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll get this thing working. It's been a absolute pain in the arse with these wires everywhere. These wires have not been the nicest. Oh, yeah, another quick post, um, well, very much post uh, build update. She, well, the computer um, is all built. Um, <laughs> only one, one major, major problem. This. My RX 260 is buggered with a capital B. I don't understand what's wrong with it, uh, other than every time I keep plugging it in. Works for about five seconds, I get a video out of it, then um, it just hangs the whole system. Try to boot it again, same thing happens. and. Well, that's the end of that. And I've tried all the different BIOS settings. I've tried everything, all the forums, but it's still under warranty. So fingers crossed, I can get it um, a new one. I say I've only had it for a couple of months, so it shouldn't be that bad. Anyway, the whole main point of this video is to say just how amazing this thing boots, how amazingly quick this thing boots. So without further ado, and some very unscientific way of doing it, I'm going to press the power button, and fingers crossed, and excuse the dog's barking in the background, uh, that's how long it takes to boot. I like the green effect by the way, <laughs> that's nice. But yeah, so um, as you see now, it's green light. It's, it's amazing how quick the new boots. Done. <laughs> Booted right into Windows. Absolutely insane. This is Windows 8.1, by the way. Um, I do apologise. And uh, stuff it. Why not? I'll, go, I'll quickly show you. Um, I don't know if I can you can see. Actually, well, this is my um, mining. My, I'm using Reaper Miner for some reason. Kuda Miner doesn't like my setup, but sod it. Um. And this is the kind of thing, this is just with the normal internal APU. So yes, it's with the normal... It's how fast it was just with the APU. Now my MacBook Pro was only 13. So yeah, obviously it's not going to be uh, my main powerhouse. Obviously when that's like the 200 hashes per second. But it's quite an interesting thing to note. Anyway, thank you very much guys. And once again, finally, finally, finally. Um, thank you very much. And the reason what and uh, cheers to stay tuned into another video where I'll be talking about um, my justification for parts and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, thank you very much, and see you next time.